My name is Charles Rickabaugh, and I was a petty officer first class. I didn't make it that far. Since my enlistment was ending, I got off in Yokosuka, Japan. Spent three months there. One of the one of the few places that I went while in the Navy that I would love to go back to the country of Japan. Wonderful people there. Well, I didn't have a, a real job. I was assigned to a, a barracks, and out back of that barracks was a a uh, building full of supplies. So I worked in there and gave out supplies to uh, the uh, Japanese women who actually cleaned the barracks. So no more no more six o'clock sweeper sweepers. The Japanese ladies were doing that for us, doing our laundry for us. Um, but and part of that building had been abandoned, but it was full of lots of good materials like wood, stenciling equipment, paints, so um, I started by making a, a big sign that indicated what the, what this storeroom building was and uh, the building number and somebody saw that sign and said, who made that and can you make more? So I kept busy for the next next few months until till discharge time came. That, that was another experience. In order to get back to the States, I had to take a, a military <coughs> airlift flight. I want to say that the name of the place was Sagamihara, Japan. I'm, I may be wrong on that, but while uh, sitting there waiting on this flight for several hours, I just wandered around and I happened to walk into a, a hangar and seated on the floor was a full company of Marines, full battle rattle, M16s by their sides, waiting to go, and uh, armed guards at the doors, making sure nobody left, <laughs> probably making sure people like me didn't come snooping around there. I have wondered and wondered how many of those guys sitting there never came back. And, thankful for the ones who did. Uh, eventually did get my flight there straight to San Francisco to Treasure Island to be discharged. I felt that I was, I was doing my duty to my country. Uh, an odd thing happened. Uh, as, as I had indicated earlier, I signed up on the 90-day delay program. And the day that I signed those papers, my draft notice also came. So, so, so many of my, my friends went to Vietnam and I volunteered several times to go, but because sonar techs were an in-demand rating, they would let me, they wouldn't, wouldn't let me after the training that they had given us. So. Um, it was an honor to serve. If I was young enough and my wife would let me, I would do it again. I had planned on uh, having a, a career in the Navy, and a young lady pretty much changed my mind about that. Not, not, that, she, not that she minded. She would have went along with me, and I'm sure we would have had a great time, but... Um, those six months away from her at a time were just too much for me.